Hello YouTube, Diecast Nation here, and today I got a special review for you guys. So this is the Sunny Recreational Van, manufactured by Superior Sunnyside Diecast Models. Now Superior Sunnyside is a Chinese brand. Um, they're not the best known brand out there for, for manufacturing diecast vehicles, um, but they do make some pretty nice quality products for a reasonable price. And uh, due to the fact that they're not all that well known, it is a little bit difficult to find out information on some of their models, specifically this one. Um, so if you want to know specific details and specs about this particular um, Sunny Recreational Van, um, you're out of luck. I obviously can't give that to you because there's really not a whole lot of information about it out there. Um, so with that being said, um, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Um, so right off the bat, you'll tell that it is white, obviously. Um, just like most uh, RVs are. Um, this isn't an officially licensed vehicle. Um, as you can see here, this is basically, it's a Ford. It's a Ford F-350. Um, it's not officially licensed, so they can't put the Ford logo on here or anything. But um, basically, this RV is a is modeled after a Class B motorhome with a Ford F-150 um, cab. The wheels on this are just plain chrome, solid plate wheels. They don't have; they're not spoked. They're just solid. I think they look decent. I think I would have preferred if they put some actual spoked, nice spoked wheels on there, but it looks decent enough. Uh, on the passenger side here, you can see we have some blue details on the side, some pinstriping and paint here. It looks looks pretty nice. Got the swirled and striped pattern. Um, we have a large window here, which is outlined in black. It doesn't actually have um, plastic in it. We have another window here, and then the door is right here, and it has a little window in it and the door on this model actually opens um, now you'll see these little mounting spots right here in this gap right here and that's because um, this RV does come with a awning as you can see right here this is the awning on this particular review unit it broke off and so that's why it is not on there right now um, but it does come with a awning and it slides right in the slot and so when you're going down the road or pretending to drive this down a road um, the awning is underneath the roof and there's poles here that connect so the awning would be in the roof and these poles would connect down here to the mounting points it's a pretty nice design and then, and then when you want to pretend like you're camping um, it just slides out so that's pretty nice Up here on the roof, we have a simulated AC or heating unit. Also up here at the top, we have just some nice details. Some blue detail up there. Um, this is a uh, sleeper cab, so you can sleep above the truck cab here. And there is a small window here. and. The, these windows up here at the sleeper cab part actually do have plastic in them, so that's nice. On the front here, we have a large window. And uh, looking at the front of the truck, we have nice headlight detail here, nice grill detail. It's just a chrome grill, no logo obviously because this isn't officially licensed. Um, but we have some orange turn signals, and we have a license plate and a nice chrome bumper. Sorry. Overall, I think this is a pretty nice look. We have large chrome mirrors to see all the way behind the truck. On the left-hand side of the vehicle, we have two large windows here. Smaller window here, and uh, this window is identical to the one on the other side. And again, these windows up here at the sleeper cab do have actual plastic in them to simulate glass. Um, the pinstriping detail is identical on both sides. It's just flipped, obviously. 
Um, the, these doors do actually open, as you can see here. We do have some decent interior detail, as you can see there. We have a uh, gauge cluster sticker. We have some cup holders, a parking brake. Um, it'll be a little bit hard to see it, but there are actually three pedals down there, so I'm assuming this is a standard. Um, but anyway, I think the interior cab section of this truck is very nice looking. So that's about it for that side. On the back here, we have a large back window. Um, tail lights here. We have turning signal, lamp, uh, brake lamp, and then your backup lamp. Um, another license plate and some more pinstriping, you know, random detail there. Um, the one thing I don't like about the back of this vehicle is that it says open. Um, the roof of this vehicle will come off, and that's what that is saying. You slide this back and pull up, and the roof will come off. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I didn't think they need to put a little arrow that says open. kind of ruins the realistic detail of this RV. Um, but then again, you know, small children might, might not know that it opens, and you know. Um, so that's what it is. Um... The passenger side obviously opens too on the cab. We have some running board detail, some gray running board and then fender flares here. I think that looks actually very nice, the fender flares and the running board. Um, now let's get to the part you've all been waiting for, which is the interior. Um, so as I said, this roof does come off. and. Uh, well, let me just adjust the camera angle and uh, we'll take a look at the interior. Alright, now that we have the roof removed, which is right here, we're going to have a better look at the interior detail of this RV. Now just the fact that this RV has interior detail is really nice, because a lot of uh, model RVs don't have a ton of interior detail, and they especially don't have as much as this. So I think that Superior Sunnyside went far beyond the expectations for interior detail on this model. Um, with that being said, obviously you can see that the roof is removable, but aha, this whole right wall just slides out of here. That is really, really nice, because now you have plenty of access to the interior of this RV. You can see it really good, you can get up real close, and you know, if you're a kid, you can simulate like you're playing with it, like somebody's actually going camping in this model. So I think that's really great for kids who want to really play with this um, RV. Now, right here is where you walk into the RV. That's where the door is. And when you first walk in, you step into the living room portion, the family room area. And here it is. So we have a couch a small coffee table and a TV. Now as you saw there, I did slide this out. So this RV does have a slide out. Let's flip this around so you can see it from this side. It sticks out about an inch. And uh, one thing about the slide out is it doesn't have a ton of friction. So it kind of has a tendency to you know slide back in if you don't want it to, so you kind of have to be careful with that. Um, but anyway, in the slide out is the gray couch. And uh, right here is a small beige coffee table and this is the TV. As you can see, it's just got a simple sticker on there to simulate a screen. That's pretty nice. And this TV is just on a table, as you can see. And it can swivel. So if you're, you know, say you're in the kitchen and you want to watch some TV, you can swivel it towards the kitchen. And uh, as you saw there, I removed the TV. And so that's another nice thing about this RV, is that everything in here is removable. They all just have these little pegs on the bottom, and they you know slide into grooves on the floor, and so they're all removable. So if you want to you know rearrange it and put things in different places, you can do that. So that's a really nice feature. Um, so anyway, that is the living room 
living area space near the front. Move a little bit farther back towards the middle of this RV section. We have the kitchen. And right here is your main you know, sink, stove area. And uh, there's some storage underneath that. And uh, when you're washing dishes, dishes or something, you can uh, look out through this nice kitchen window. Just flip this around so you can have a look at the other side of the kitchen, which includes this very nice refrigerator. It's uh, the type that has the freezer on top. As you can see, we have some handle detail, and this is venting. And there's those pegs that I was talking about that go in these grooves. See, if you want the uh, this to be closer, you can move it. You know, lots of uh, choices there. Right here, we have the pantry. It's a uh, pretty good sized pantry for an RV, I would say. Um, we have some door handle and door detail here. Now this does not actually open. It's just for looks, but because um, these are all hollow. So, But anyway, that looks really great. And I'm glad that they included that. So that's the kitchen. Now if we move back to the back of the RV, um, we reach the bedroom. And I think the bedroom is probably my favorite section of this RV. And that's primarily because of the bed. Oh, camera's rolling away on me. So here's the bed. And I think the detail on this is great. We have a plaid sheet with a uh, yellow backside and we have some plaid matching pillowcases. Nice backboard here. This looks like a queen size bed. There's the pegs. Overall, I think this is probably my favorite piece of furniture in this RV, just because it has the most detail. And again, that just snaps in there. Now, along this back wall here, we have, if I can get it out, we have some areas for storing things. It's just an L-shaped piece. That's nice. We have one of those on either side of the bed, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and flip this around. Now, as you can see back here, we have some nice printed curtain detail on the wall here. We have it on this window and this window, and we also have a yellow clock. I think that looks really great. And just overall, I think this is great on the interior. Um, there's a little pass-through right here to get into the cab of the truck. And up here, on the uh, this section, uh, we don't have any detail, which is a little bit unfortunate. I wish they would have, you know, put um, a narrow little bed in there. I think that would have been nice, the uh, sleeper cab section up here. Um, but overall, I think that uh, Superior Sunnyside just, you know, blew me away with the interior detail on this thing. For what they had to work with, I think they did awesome. And I think this, the interior of this, is my favorite part. I mean, the exterior is not the exterior is not bad. It looks very nice, very realistic. But the interior is what really shines on this. As you can see, the slide out here came in, but there we go. So, let's go ahead and slide this wall back in. Slide the slide out back in. And there we go. The Sunny Recreational Vehicle from Superior Sunnyside. I think this is a really, really good quality model. Um, I'm very happy with it. It's one of my favorite of all my uh, model vehicles. And it is just really, really good. The uh, interior detail on the cab is great. Just everything is really, really good with this model, and I really like it. 
Um, so that's it for this review. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. See ya.